A few weeks ago, Twitter announced a super cool feature. It will let your followers subscribe to your newsletter with just one click directly from your Twitter profile. But the problem is, it's only for those using Review as the newsletter provider, the newsletter service. So a lot of people are switching or thinking about switching to Review just to get their hands on this feature. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use this feature, regardless if you're using Review, ConvertKit, MailerLite, MailChimp, or basically any other newsletter service out there. And it won't take more than 10 minutes to set up. This is super easy to do and it's completely free. We're gonna use an app called Zapier, which is kind of a if this then that app. It will help you connect one online app to another online app, or it can actually connect your email to the lights in your living room. But we're not gonna do that right now. We're gonna connect uh, your Twitter profile with your main newsletter provider. You're gonna need three accounts for this. First of all, the regular newsletter service you're using. If that is ConvertKit or MailChimp or MailerLite, doesn't matter. You need that and you probably already have that registered. The second thing you need is a Zapier account. This is completely free and you can use it for a certain amount of saps each month without having to pay. And the last account you will need is of course the Review account. So Review is a newsletter provider itself and that's the only newsletter provider, newsletter service that you will be able to connect to the Twitter newsletter box. Sign up for a review account that is also free and we can get going on connecting all these apps together. The very first thing you need to do in ConvertKit is to go to landing pages and forms, click add new and then you choose form. This will create a form dedicated to your Twitter sign up box and you can skip this step and send people directly to your main form or main list, whatever you're using. But I suggest you do that so you can keep track of how many people actually signing up through Twitter. It doesn't really matter which one you choose because this form will never show. Click anyone you like and then just rename it to something that will be easy to remember, like a Twitter form or something like that. You don't actually need to change anything in the settings for this form, but I do suggest that you uncheck the send incentive email box. This is the email that will be sent out right after someone signs up and it will ask them, do you really want to sign up to this uh, newsletter? You should always use that, but this will be sent out from review instead. So you don't want people to get this twice and that's why you want to turn it off in ConvertKit. It will actually be turned off uh, through Zapier later on, but I kind of like to do it here as well, so I'm on the safe side. Now let's set review up. Go into your account when you've set it up and click account settings. Now, the first thing you want to change is the from email address. This is sent out from the getreview.co address and you don't want that. You want this to be sent out from the exact same address as you are using to send emails from ConvertKit with. So when people sign up, they will do that through review and you want them to get the opt-in email from the same email address as you will be using later on when you actually send them newsletters from your ConvertKit. So change this to the same email you're using on your regular newsletter service. Next thing you wanna change is this one, profile page. This will show your past issues, but because you won't be sending any emails from review, 
there will never be any past issues. So change this one to show only sign up. Now here's the profile image, the icon that will show uh, next to the sign up box on your bio. Here's the newsletter title that will also show on your Twitter profile. And this is the blurb, the uh, tiny description that will tell people what your newsletter is about. This is about how long you can make it. If you make it longer than this, it will show dots at the end. So keep it to this size. Now the last part is this one. This is the message people will see after they click your opt-in email. When they are confirmed, this is the message they will read. This could be a way for you to promote your Twitter account, to send them to a freebie or a PDF or anything that you have. Click the save button and now go into the settings tab. Here you only need to change one thing and you are done. You want to hide the subscriber count from your Twitter bio page because this will show the subscriber count on your review account and you probably have more subscribers in total on your regular newsletter account. That is basically everything you need to do here. Now you just click the same button and you are done for now in review. Let's connect everything in Zapier. Click the create SAP button and you will get in here. And this is where you connect your first app. In this case, this is review. Write review here and click it. And if you haven't connected review before, this is where you need to enter your password, your username. After you've done that, you will be redirected here. The trigger event is what will shoot this SAP off. So whenever a new subscriber is added to review through your Twitter profile, this SAP will shoot off. You go in here and choose your review account. You're probably just gonna have one here and you click continue. Now, when you click the test trigger, it might not work the first time. If it works, you will see something like this. But if you get an error message, you need to go into your review account and add a new subscriber manually. So you go to review, you click the subscribers button at the top, and you basically add an email address you already have. So I'm gonna use my test three address here. I add this and I click the, I confirm I have permission and then add subscribers. Now, if I go back and try this test again, you will see what I see right now. After that, click continue and we go on to the next app to be connected. This can be MailChimp, this can be MailerLite, ConvertKit, or whatever app, whatever newsletter service you are using. In my case, it's ConvertKit. Same thing here, if you haven't connected ConvertKit to Zapier before, you need to do that and then you will end up here again. The action event is what's gonna happen when the first event is true. So when a new subscriber is added in review, I want to add a new subscriber to a specific form in ConvertKit. Click continue. And now you get to choose the ConvertKit account you want to use. You probably have one here, yes, it's me. And in the next step, you are telling Sapir which form you want to subscribe the new user to. And in our case, we named it Twitter form. Next, click the email dropdown and click on the email address it pulled from the test you just ran. This is how you tell Zapier where to find the email to actually subscribe to your ConvertKit account. 
This next option is the most important one. This is where you tell Zapier to disconnect, to inactivate the double opt-in sequence for ConvertKit. You should always use a double opt-in, but this is already happening through review. So you don't want people to first go through the double opt-in in, in review and then be transferred to ConvertKit and go through it all again. So click no on the opt-in to sequence here. Next, click the continue button and then test and continue at the bottom right. If everything is set up correctly, you will get a test was successful and everything is set. Now, the only thing you need to do is to turn on your SAP. You will be able to connect most newsletter services here in SAP, but what you need to be able to do is to turn off the double opt-in sequence in your newsletter service. So if you're using MailChimp or if you're using MailerLite, you need to be able to turn off the double opt-in for the people signing up through Twitter. Because you always want to use double opt-in, that's the best tactic to keep a healthy newsletter, a healthy mailing list without fake emails, without people that doesn't really, doesn't really want to be on your mailing list. So always use double opt-in. And if you can't find the option to turn off double opt-in here within Sapier, you need to make that happen in your newsletter provider, newsletter service. So if you can add people to a specific form or a specific segment where you can turn off the double opt-in for that specific segment, you can do that. The most important thing is that you are able to turn off the double opt-in because review will always do it. And if you don't turn it off in your main newsletter provider, people will go through that twice. The very last thing you need to do is to activate the newsletter subscription box in review. Go back to your review account, click your name at the top right and then account settings. Click the integrations tab and connect now under Twitter. If you haven't connected Twitter before, you'll have to enter your password and username. As I have connected it before, I can only click the button and it's now connected. The last step you need to do is click settings and check the show newsletter on Twitter profile checkbox. After doing that, click save changes and after waiting a few minutes, you will have your own newsletter subscription box on your Twitter profile. Now your followers can sign up for your newsletter with one click directly from your Twitter profile. And you don't have to use review. You can use basically any other newsletter service as long as it can be connected within Sapier. If you like this kind of content, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more, don't forget to follow me and I'm going to be putting out more content every week. Have an awesome day and I hope we see each other in the next video.